Now, the Just Fund Group has justified a $74 million quote in the government for the supply of a million waste bins and bin liners. A joint news investigative piece by Manasseh Azuria Wune had estimated that the contract had been inflated by 130 million CDs. The report also indicated the contract was awarded even though hundreds of the waste bins previously supplied to the assemblies were, are currently wasting away. The Justpon Group, the mother company of Zoom Lion, in a statement on Thursday says the bins and bin liners cost as much as $74 million because the company is supposed to pre-finance the transaction with government, giving flexible payment terms. The statement, however, says none of the goods have been supplied yet. And I'll take you through more of the statement. So it talks about the alleged uh, allegation of inflated price. And it goes on to say the price is inflated the, that the price is inflated is misconceived and misleading. Firstly, this agreement is a pre-financing and credit sale contract. The total number of waste bins to, to be supplied under the initiative is one million at a supply rate of $60 per piece to be paid at the prevailing Bank of Ghana Interbank Exchange rate. Now, it goes on to say plus 900,000 pieces of biodegradable bin liners at $15.60 per piece. The total contract sum of 74,000 and United States dollars was to be pre-financed by the companies, which therefore allowed the government of Ghana flexibility payment terms for a period of 24 months. Definitely a cash sale has different terms as compared to a credit sale. And then it goes further to the production cost involved in the above. A major component of the contract is the transportation and distribution of the bins to households within the 216 dis districts by the companies involved, which has additional cost implications, and same was factored into the pricing. Now, it says it should be noted, contrary to claims, the bins are durable, coming with a replacement warranty and a competitive price to the international market price. And then it moves on to the second item, which has to do with allegation of payment on the contract sum. It says it must be placed on record that none of the five companies has supplied any item under the contract and neither has any payment been made by the Ministry of Local Government to the said companies. And then three says the reports and statements in the multimedia group authored by Manasa Azura Wune to the effect that the contract price has been inflated in excess of 130 million Ghana cities is therefore grossly misleading and unfortunate to say the least. Clearly, there was no wrongdoing in the procurement or award of the contract. And then the fourth issue, they're responding to the splashing of pictures of waste bins. It says, we wish to state categorically that the references made to waste bins in the district, the pictures displayed online by Joy FM were meant to mislead the public that because some assemblies have not distributed existing bins, there was no need for distributing the beings as required by the contract is unfortunate. And then it says it should be noted that the one million beings distribution program is meant to ensure that households in Ghana have beings to enhance waste management, disposal and collection in all communities. Currently, the lack of such beings in houses is leading to poor waste disposal and indiscriminate dumping of waste generated daily. And then it says, on the face of the evidence, we deem the publication in question by, the Joy, by Joy FM and Manasa Azura Wune as malicious and calculated to tarnish the hard-won reputation of the Just Bond Group, the chief executive, and its subsidiaries. Now, we were, we had arranged to speak with uh, Robert Coleman, who's the head of communications at Zoom Lion. Unfortunately, we have been unable to reach him, even though we have... Uh, been calling his phone in the last uh, few minutes. But I have with me in the studio Manasseh Azuri Awini, who actually did that story, and uh, he will hopefully respond to the issues that just spawn, uh, the just one group of companies they have issued here. All right, so Manasseh, we're hoping to speak with Robert Coleman. We, we can't get him. But one of the issues that the just one group is raising in their uh, statement is that 
when you say that the cost has been inflated by 130 million cities, it's, uh, it's misleading for you to say that. And they explain that in their case, they are supplying these items, the bins, to government. They're pre-financing it, which will mean that they will bear the cost and the government will pay later. And by the time government pays, probably, uh, they have factored in that pre-financing element, which will mean that they have to bear that cost before they eventually reimburse. Uh, how do you respond to that? Well, I think uh, if you look at the contracts, we have no component of that in it. So if they are saying that, then they are actually confirming the fact that what we have discovered is really true and that the cost is more than it was supposed to be and they are giving reasons. So they should tell us what percentage they have put on top to take care of uh, those expenditure. But even without uh, looking at the uh, whatever they've put on, you're saying that you actually obtained an invoice from them, from them. and that invoice suggested that uh, how much have they pegged the price of the bin? The price of the bin is 240 liter bin. From them is 150 Ghana cities. 150 50 Ghana, Ghana cities. cities. But if we look at the price we have here, we're yes. looking at $60 a piece. Yes, that's about uh, 258 Ghana cities. Going by four cities, 30 per Swiss. Yes. Uh, for, the, for the dollar. So then, yes, for just looking at just the beans and uh, going by the argument they are making that they, they factored in the cost of pre-financing it, then we're looking at um, 110 cities extra. On the yes, but we even added the uh, transportation cost of about 20 Ghana cities. And when you talk about the distribution, there's nothing of that sort in the contract. We have the contracts beyond the pro forma invoices. All right. And the contract states categorically. Okay. And Fortunately, we have uh, Robert Coleman now okay. on the line and we're going to be speaking with him. Now, good evening to you. Uh, all right, we have just lost him. But you are making your point, Manasseh. Yes, so what I'm saying is that if you look at the contract, it states uh, transportation and the cost of the bin. There is nothing with the distribution. And uh, from what has been happening in the assemblies, if there's any distribution at all, it happens at the assemblies. No one carries one liter of bin roaming the town to go to people's houses and place it there. That does not happen. So uh, if you look at this, okay. it is really... Well, now, one other issue they, they raised is that uh, the allegation of payment of the contracts. I'm not sure you stated that. Yes, the they, they, they are making that. their own allegations and answering to that. We never mentioned that in our report that some payment had been made. So they are just bringing up their own allegations and then they're trying to find answers to it. I think the most interesting aspect of this is their statement, and I'm quoting, they are talking about uh, uh, 900 pieces, 1,000 pieces of bean liners at $15.6 per piece. We made it a pack because if you look at the contract, it says 900,000 beans, uh, yeah. bean liners. Yeah. The pro forma invoice, everything. Is, so we decided to say, okay, maybe they may have made a, a mistake. So we made it a pack. That's the, and we got a pro forma invoice from them. And their pro forma invoice, a piece of the bin liner is 98 pesos. Okay. But let's get, uh, we're told we have uh, Coleman now back on the line. Good evening to you, uh, Robert Coleman. Hello, good evening. All yeah. right. So now I get the thrust of the statement that your group has released on the waste bin contract, being the fact that you disagree it's inflated because you're pre financing the transaction. Is that correct? Certainly, is a, that is the position of the company. We decided to set the record straight because we have the firm view that the Manasse did not take into consideration a lot of variables. And also, they did not cross-check from the appropriate source before he decided to put out this story. Now, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Coleman, you talk about the fact that there's an element of pre-financing in there. Now, was it stated clearly in the contract that this element of pre-financing was going to send the price up? Certainly, you are pre-financing a particular job. What it means is that you need to get funds from the commercial market 
in order to produce this bees. And we have stated that the virgin material itself for the production of that type of bean that we were about to supply or we are in the process of supplying is different from what is in the market. The transportation cost is not inclusive in this calculation. We are expected to distribute the bean to the various households. If you get to the place, you need to take data. So all is inclusive of the price. And that is the position of the company. Mr. Coleman, you talk about the fact, you're trying to suggest that these beans that you're going to produce, um, we are, don't have it on the market already. I mean, they're new kind of beans altogether. Is that the case? The, is right. There are, types, there are types of beans. Okay, but the point, point, the point you're making is that the beans you were going to produce under the contract is completely different from whatever is on the market. The point I am making is that we are going to use a different raw material, and it is different from what is in or on the market. And how, that is why... How special will the raw material make this new bin? It's a bin for it, waste. It is going to be more durable, and the waste material is in such a way that it is going to be more friendly in terms of the weather than what we have in the market and that is why the prices are different okay so you mean here, what you have you, on the market is inferior to what you are going to produce that is not the point we are making the point we are making is that the type of being we have a particular type that we give out to a particular group of people and we are saying that with this particular contract they requested for a particular type of a bean and we needed to use a particular raw material so we are talking about durability quality and we are also making the point about the fact that we needed to distribute the beans transportation is a part of it and we are going to pre-finance okay today israel let me make this point please today i drove to east legon and i checked three areas and the cost of a bean Averagely, it's around 250 Ghana cities. If you have an invoice there, I cannot authenticate that invoice. Well, that invoice was I, obtained from your group. And that, that is why I am saying that that invoice that you have over, I can't speak to it. But that invoice that we are uh, speaking about, it has to do with outright purchase. And this one is a credit sale. Again, so then I come back to, let's just do some quick uh, mathematics here. You're quoting $60 a piece. Now, the prevailing exchange rate, we're looking at four cities, uh, 30 pesos. That's 260 for a bean. Now, that's what's been sold on the open market, at least from the invoice that we got, is 150 cities. Now, we're looking at 110 cities. What percentage did you put on it for pre-financing? Hello, Mr. Cole. Right. Yes. I'm asking, at 110 cities, over what is being sold on the market, what percentage did you put on it for pre-financing? He's right. You are saying you have an invoice of a bean. So you can calculate a no. If the one you have there is 160 or 150, you can calculate a no, the percentage. I can just mention that it is about 100 Ghana cities in addition. Exactly. 100 Ghana cities in addition for pre-financing and for transportation. That's and quite distribution. Steep. And we are talking to about quality of the bean and the virgin material being used. So what's happened to the contract right now? Ivan, the contract, we have not received any money as of now. We keep on hearing people talking about the fact that we have been paid and all that. And we still keep on asking that what is wrong if we go out and bid for a particular work that we have done before. Israel, you are in this country. And in 2007, we distributed free beans. So when it comes to distribution of beans, the pedigree of the company is unquestionable. We spoke about the fact that you go to the assemblies 
and they are being sent over there and they have not been distributed. Those beans that not belong to us. And why is it that they are not checking to find out All right. why the beans have not been distributed? Yeah, Mr. Coleman, Those beans that, that... are not meant for households. Israel, let me give just give me some time to clarify. Those beans are not meant for households. You're, you're saying that you are, didn't distribute, you didn't send those beans, but you're speaking about what those beans are supposed to be used for. Israel, the mere fact that I did not send those beans doesn't mean I cannot speak to the issue. I am very much aware we were actively involved in the National Sanitation Day, and these beans were sent there, per my understanding, to augment the work that the assemblies were doing, to be placed at vantage points and also to be given to government uh, 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 establishments. All right. There are but some of the beans also in Tema, but those are yours, and they've also been wasting there for about two years now. I, I am not aware of beans at Tema that belongs to us uh, that uh, 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 we have not distributed. This you are just informing me, but I, I, I have not checked. I need to check and then look which beans you are talking about. Now, my final point to you, or my final question to you, is that the, your report, I mean, you're talking about the fact that you got this contract signed and awarded under a certificate of urgency because the beans had to be distributed ahead of the rainy season. Those beans have not been distributed. And if you're saying that it was supposed to have used, were supposed to have pre-financed it, nothing has happened. The distribution of the beans is a process. The manufacturing and all that is a process. It is not an event. And therefore, we needed to import virgin materials we needed to get the types of mold and mix it with the raw material that we have here to produce it. The point still remains that it is a process and an event. Okay. All right. Uh, you're also asking for the, you are demanding that the story is retracted. Which aspect of the story do you want retracted? He's right. If you if you write that we have inflated and we believe that we have not, then certainly it calls for a retraction. But we are of the view that it is all an agenda against the Josmo group and the Zoom Lion group, and we take exception to it. This is not the first time that Manase Azuri has gone and said things which are not factual. He started by talking about the fact that when he did the JIDA investigation, uh, the government initiated a, a committee. We were asked to pay an amount of money. The executive chairman of Lyon, when he had the chance to visit a, a job, made it abundantly clear that it is false. He requested Manase Azui to point out to him where government requested that we pay back money. And government also came out with a white paper. But Manasse has decided to metamorphose the white paper to a black paper when it's running. We take exception to this. We believe that it is against the code of ethics of journalism in this country. When Joy FM and multimedia are going to bid for jobs, you remember the Star Ghana bidding during the election. Uh, Joy FM go, Joy Prime, don't you go? Asempa, don't they also go? Hey, hey don't they go? Uh, is he saying that a legitimate and a, a, a limited liability company like Zoom Lion, the Just One Group, we cannot do that? When we do good things in this country, Manasi sees absolutely nothing about it. Manasseh knows my number, he knows where to find me, and Manasseh can just decide to put out this. To me, this is clearly, clearly incongruous and absolutely preposterous. All right. And we take exception to this particular uh, 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 line of journalism. All right, thank you very much, uh, Robert Coleman. Robert Coleman is head of communications at the Jospong, well, at, the, at Zoom Lion, and he was speaking, reacting to 
uh, a story we did, Manasseh Azuri uh, Awini did, having to do with the award of a waste bin contract. Now, Manasseh, uh, we've actually gone way over our time, but I'll give you just a minute to, add to react to all that he's had to say. Well, he's uh, made allegation that we don't call him. This year, on this story, I've written two letters, and they failed to respond, citing examples or using the case in court as an excuse. So it is not true. He also talks about the JIDA report. Anybody who is listening or watching can go on the internet, download, and go to page 131. And there are some overcharges there that Zoom Lion is supposed to. Uh, uh, the committee says Zoom Lion overcharged. And this is about 70 something million Ghana. So if you go to the other report, uh, that same report, you have better Ghana management service. So if you add all of that, it is. Uh, about 141 uh, million Ghana cities that the company is said to have overcharged. But the claim from uh, the Jospin Group is saying that they, were, they have never been asked to re repay that money, as you had indicated. In my report, I stated the, what the, I quoted the JIDA report and said these are the amounts overcharges. that the overcharges. And I made it clear why is the, the question I asked, why is the government not going after them? Okay. And the white paper he's talking about does not... Uh, include a lot of the things that have been implemented. Because if you take the RL, RLG, the Agams group, the white paper says nothing about them, but the government has taken about 60 million cities from them. So my question is, why would the government go and uh, take this money and then RLG leave the rest? Yes, so uh, he also spoke about the fact that they are going to distribute for per the contract. And what we have seen, there is nothing like household distribution. And it is also not true that those dustbins that have se been sent to the assemblies are meant for public places. It is not true. Okay. All right, thank you very much, uh, Manasseh Azure. Well.